Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys a leg workout and we're gonna start with some glute activation. Usually I do about three different exercises just to kind of warm up my legs and my glutes just so I, when I'm working them out that I'm feeling it more than I usually would if I wouldn't do it. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the warm up just to get everything pumping and blood flowing and we're gonna go ahead and start the workout. So we're going to start out the workout with just doing some side stepping. You're just going to go two to the right and then two to the left. Make sure you're in a squatting position and really focus on using your glutes to stay in that squat position and moving your legs from side to side. You'll quickly realize that this little circuit I do in, before my workout burns and it's really going to activate your glutes and your legs. And with the resistance band, you want to make sure that's about right below your knee, just so you're getting the most tension as well. And then whenever you transition into that back step, you want to make sure that's in the middle of your knee and your ankle. That way you're going to get the best tension. And then you're going to go ahead and switch over to the other side. And you're going to do that as well, just doing those side steps, kind of in a small squat. You still want to bend at the knee and just really focus on using your glutes to push back. And then next, you're going to go ahead and get on the ground and bring that resistance band right below the knee again. And make sure your knees are touching and pretty much keep your ankles locked together. That's the easiest way I can explain how to get in this position. And you're just going to lift up that knee. This is called clam workout or something like that. I, I know it has something to do with the clam, but that's all I can remember. I'm really bad at the names. I apologize, but I will leave the best description I can down below for you guys. And then you're going to go ahead and just make sure you do it on the other side as well. Just really focus on using your glutes just mainly during this because that's really the key focus of this workout is, is really trying to help grow your glutes. You just really want to make sure that you're focused on that and really make that mind to muscle connection. You're gonna go ahead and do three rounds of that. And then you're gonna go ahead and toss the resistance band. We don't need that anymore. And now we're gonna go into some weights. Now for this, we're gonna go ahead and start with the superset. And go ahead and do some curtsy lunges, which is gonna be followed by some sumo squats. So you just with this, you wanna make sure that your right leg, whichever knee you're on, that, that leg is staying stable, but you wanna bring your other leg a little bit farther than a normal lunge would be and really focus when you push up through your heel and really feeling that tension on the side of your glutes. That's really the main focus of this. Every time I do this exercise, I just get super sore on the side and that's really what this focuses on. It's kind of getting that rounder part of your butt. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab your barbell or if you don't have that, you can just use dumbbells. That's perfectly fine and just go ahead and go into your sumo squats. You wanna make sure that you have a wide stance and you wanna make sure that your toes are pointed outwards, just a little bit, not super far, just a little bit to really get that glute focus. Make sure that you drive up through your heels, keeping your core stable and lifting up with your chest. Make sure you're not looking down when you come up. Form is really important. As you see, I go slow when I do these just to make sure I'm really focusing and using the right muscles that I want to use. It's really easy just to think that you just want to pump out the workouts without actually thinking of what you're doing. So really make sure that you're keeping that mind to muscle. Even if you're growing a little bit tired, that's okay. It's better to just take it slow than to just be pushing out reps with no mind to muscle connection and not really and this is just a different view for you guys that way you guys can see what it looks like not through the mirror i apologize for the lighting it's not the best because i had to just use my tripod so i couldn't get all the angles i may have been able to if not but you guys are still able to understand what's happening and this is just giving you a better view of the curtsy lunge and how far your legs should come out and just so you guys know exactly how to do it when you're doing it on your own. Next we're going to go ahead and jump into our hip thrusts. Now here I'm just using a 50 pound dumbbell and I have also a hip circle around my legs just for added tension and you really want to make sure that you're pushing up through your heels and not so much your back. And whenever you come up to the top, you really want to squeeze. And what I do is I do a drop set of these. I can't remember the exact name it's called, but you're pretty much going to do 10 reps, take three deep breaths, do eight reps, take three deep breaths, and then also take, or then also do six reps. And I'm also using a padding on the 
barbell because it really, honestly, I don't understand how some people can't use it, but it can really, but if you're not careful, you can bruise your actual like hip bones and your pelvic bone and you really don't want that to happen. So make sure you always have a pad with you, especially if you can see that bother bothers you and that you're using heavier weight. But just again, make sure that you're pushing through. You can see here that I'm taking those deep breaths and then I go right back into it again. And this is really going to burn, but again, just focus on getting those reps in and really squeezing. You don't want to just throw in a rep to get it and not get the full and not get the full benefits of actually doing a rep right. Following the hip thrust, we're going to go ahead and do some step ups. So go ahead, I grab 15 pound dumbbells each and you pretty much just step up either on a bench or a chair or a box jump, anything like that that you can find. You just want to do a step up. So you just bring your right leg up, really pushing through your heel. That's very important. Don't be using your toes. You really just want to really focus on pushing up through your heel and squeezing that glute at the top and then stepping back down. And you want to do one side first and then the other to get the maximum tension build up. Super easy and self-explanatory. This one isn't too hard to explain or to do. Um, you just want to make sure that you just have a stable surface so you're, you know that it's going to be sturdy and it's not going to fall over when you get on it. But don't be fooled. These will definitely get you out of breath and needing to take a minute or two break. And then the very last exercise we are going to do is some hamstring curls. And what you want to do with these is that whenever you get, you want to go on your stomach, bring your legs back, and whenever you bring your legs up, you want to go down with just one leg. And then you want to bring it back up and go down with just the other single leg. That way you're just kind of getting the best tension out of it. Here, it was kind of hard for me to do it on this machine for some reason. It just didn't feel right, which is fine. If it doesn't feel right, then go ahead and just use both legs up and then bring them back down. And then you can probably add a little bit more weight since you're doing it that way instead of the single leg. But I just thought I would give you guys both a variation of different ways you can do it. This will be the last workout of this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed and followed along and that was easy. If you have any questions, just comment them down below and I will get back to you and answer any questions you have. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you did like it. And I'll go ahead and leave the whole workout in the description box below. So if you guys want to just screenshot it or just take it with you whenever you go to the gym, um, I have that option for you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.